Python, the built-in function dir, D-I-R, is a lifesaver. I use it a lot and it's really, really helpful. Even on interviews, when you forget what options you have with an object, what you can do with an object, the dir method will give you all the information about that particular object. Let me show you what I mean. The, the method is D-I-R, okay, D-I-R. So the way we use it, let's say I import the maths module, import import maths. Now maths, the module itself is an object. In Python, everything is an object. And if I want to see what are the available methods and properties inside of maths, all I do is dir and give it the, na the name of the object. I'm going to do maths. And as you can see, it will give us everything that's available inside of maths, right? All those things, floor, things I've used before, which is like a rounding, um, sine and cosine and things like that. More, more realistic for QA automation, let's say we import Selenium WebDriver, right? I'm gonna say from Selenium, import, import WebDriver. And I can do, if I wanna see what's available inside of WebDriver, I can do dir WebDriver, and it, it tells me what are available. I can do Chrome, Edge, Firefox. Let's say I wanna create an object. Let's, let's go ahead and create an object. I'm gonna say driver, it's gonna be WebDriver dot, Chrome, right? I created that driver object. It's actually going to open Chrome. Now, if I want to see what I can do with the driver, I can do dir driver. I'm, I'm going to do dir and give it the object. And here we go. All those things are the things I can do with the driver object. Um, once you get an object, you can say find element. For example, here, uh, I have this script, the Selenium script, right? Let's say I'm trying to uncomment it and it's not working. Okay, there you go. So let's say you, you want to just you know open a browser, go to a website, you find an element, and you forget what to do with that element. Now we have an object called username, and we don't know what we can do with the username. We can just do dir, print dir username and see what happens there. I can just run it. I'm going to come here, run Python file. It should open a terminal and run it. And we will see that all the options available Printed for that object, for that web element. You get a web element and you can click it, you can send keys and things like that, right? In Selenium, what can I do with that object? And here we go, we get a list of things. We can do click and we can do find element to find a child element and things like that. And I use the dir when I'm working with a library that I don't, I don't understand. So recently I wanted to use Yahoo Finance API, well, Yahoo Finance library to work with stocks. And I didn't know what are the available methods, what are the functions and things like that. So I just keep doing dir. I create an object, I do dir on that object. I'll get a list and the naming is usually in Python is common sense. So you try to figure it out. So you get an object, you don't know what to do with it. Use dir to figure out what are the available options.